Go driving park. Group three. Right, here we are. In a coupe dueling to get the week started then. And now, on to Daily Race B. Here we are then for Daily Race B. This week at Kyoto Driving Park. Going round the Yamagiwa configuration. I think that's how you say it, Yamagiwa. And what have we got then? Five laps on the racing car tyre. One times fuel, one times tyre. And BOP. Back in the Group 3s then for this one. Had some uh, pretty good Group 3 battling and shenanigans on... Uh, Lago Maggiore last week and uh, yeah Kyoto Driving Park Yamagiwa is definitely a track that I do enjoy driving on. Do you like it? Lots of high speed sections, a couple of technical bits here and there as well. So as I say in the group threes here today should be some good racing. The sweeping left hander here for the first corner that just opens up here on the exit. Really quick high speed section here put to the floor all the way and then just over the dip here down the other side into this Big sweeping left hander here. Some overtaking opportunities then that we can see on Kyoto Yamagiwa. I've not raced here before in the uh, Nissan GTR Nismo. I uh, have raced here before, but not in this car. But it was daily race B uh, a couple of months back, I think it was, when it was uh, when it was up as a daily race. Uh, I was in the uh, BMW M3. Yeah, and I went pretty well in the uh, BMW M3 round here. So uh, hopefully will be able to do the same in the old Nissan GTR Nismo. What we've done so far, it seems like a good car for going round here. So that's good. I think it's Yamagiwa. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. Yamagiwa. Yeah, Yamagiwa. So, all in all, I would say at the moment then, I am looking forward to this. Okay, so we haven't got time to go around again. So, let's go. Here we are then, away from this one in P13. Right, here we go. Right, away we go then. Five laps, Kyoto, Yamagiwa. Let's go. Here we go, throwing the car into the first corner, long sweep of left-hander here, Just trying to keep to the inside if you can, but we've got ourselves round to this high-speed section, we go then for the first time, foot firmly planted to the floor, and over the brow, down the other side then, and down towards the big sweep and left-hander, going to go fourth gear, down to third for the rotation there, back into fourth to sort of help us there, stay on the inside, just follow it through there, bit of a casualty, in a Toyota there on the way out, but we're okay. Now down the hill again towards the hairpin, just sort of sticking in behind the Peugeot BGT for now, into the chicane. Full throttle on the way out there, you're sort of trying to spot the gap there, go by on the Toyota. Sticking with the Peugeot here, gonna make a move, possibly into the hairpin. We are indeed up the inside there. Get it slowed down, get it stopped in time, and round we go. Uh, drive there though, off the corner by the Peugeot, so stay behind here then in P11. The corner this one here, just sort of try to just sort of guide it through there. It's the final corner, another one of these sweeping corners here, this time right as opposed to left. Get ourselves round and completing the first lap. At two then, uh, sitting so far in P11. Three there, just in front of the Peugeot there, looking as though they're going to be dueling through the high speed section here. One of them there just going off there, the Porsche there getting very on the curb there and then a bit sideways there. And again, a bit of a bump there, just about manages to get ourselves through there and into P7 in the process. A bit excited there, Mr. Breaking Zone. Down the hill then, I say really profiting there from a few uh, errors. One of the driver's parts there, as I say, get ourselves into P7 then. So push on, I've got what looks like a McLaren ahead of us there in P6. We get ourselves on the brakes here for the hairpin. Short shift to sit in there just to help keep the back end in check on the way out there. And a couple of corners here, just sort of guide the car through onto the apex like that. Closing here on those guys in front. Hard to tell at the moment. I'll have more of a picture on that one. We get around this final corner. Closing a little bit there. 1.4. One and a half seconds then back to the car behind. Onto lap three. And trying to aim for a nice 
tight line through this first corner on the inside into fourth there for speed on the way out and look back first corner really nicely sort of blends into this high speed section here as we say foot is firmly planted to the floor for this was over a second now to the cars in front there but we are making gains here get ourselves around here look back there just to hit the apex there just have to get us through there onto the apex there Love these high speed corners here on Kyoto. The flags spinner is going to pull us up there into P6. We've got a BMW there going out into P6 then and firmly on the back of these guys now. Back into this hairpin. Just over two seconds then back to P7 then. So they're focusing now really on the cars in front of here. Yeah, we could really close it down, haven't we? Now just over half a second going through this final corner. Perhaps an opportunity maybe for getting really close as we get onto the start of the fourth lap here. Lap four then. Here we are then just hovering there between seven to eight tenths now behind p5 we've got two more there just about managing to see them there just further up the road there engaging in a bit of a duel as well yeah just noticing them there dueling there into the left hand could we get a, a possible repeat perhaps of what happened at the start of lap two guys here just holding stations for now then guide the car through the chicane sort of matching the pace now the guy in front here in the mclaren not really poised there for a move to so get on those brakes here into the hairpin there, change of position there, going on for the final podium place. All starting to heat up a bit now as we get on towards the start of the final lap. It all looks like it's just sort of simmering at the moment though, doesn't it? As we get around this final corner, pretty sure the start of the final lap is going to start boiling up for the podium place there. So that final lap we go now then, 1.3 to the car, behind. a bit of space here on the racetrack then. We sort of now roll our effort into staying with the guys here going around this final lap all oh, a bit sideways there from the fans noticed that as they were going through the uh, left hander there that's gonna just allow us there to go through to p5 just over half a lap there or there about to go and the brakes here for the chicane ourselves to p5 now to get away from the mclaren those two there have a bit of a thing towards the end here we could be very possibly on for a podium here the second place as well so very much in the mix then with a few corners to go well not, i'd say not really in the mix at the moment then but if you know those two have a bit of a collision or something it could happen i think really as we get through this corner here just kind of keep the mclaren at bay it's approaching the final corner now final corner a bit late there on the brakes there but i'm just about managed to get it through there watch the exit there and the mclaren they're going to go a bit sideways out the final corner as we secure with that p5 So, not so bad. Yeah, P5, good result. I think, though, we did get a bit lucky, though, especially on the second lap with that collision there. Pace with these things, of just sort of being in the right place at the right time to be able to capitalise on the things that happen around you. If you are, that's great. You can sort of take advantage of that and then really push on and see what happens. Let's have a bit of a go, then, and see if we can elevate ourselves a bit further up the grid for the next one. Spots going around here. If you do happen to enjoy my pretty average driving at best on Gran Turismo 7, it'd be great if you consider liking and subscribing. Really do appreciate it. And also hit the bell for notifications just so you know when I upload new pretty average driving videos. You won't see necessarily Olympic esque esports driving around here. You know, we just get on, get it done. And have fun along the way. I've got myself down to a 35 2, so we'll take that into the next one. Let's see how it goes. Here we are then, front row. Okay, got some expectations in this one then. Away we go then, from P2. Right, into the first corner then. Here we go. Nice and tight here through the first corner. As always there, into fourth there. Just get yourself round through this high-speed section here. Try to go then with the race leader and see where we get to. And the hill then into the left hand for the first time in this one then. Say so really trying to stick on the back of the race leader here. They can sort of take us round, pull us away from the guys behind then just see where it goes from there. About a second now on the cars behind already here. Down towards the chicane for the first time. 
Nice and tidy through here then. A few inroads there on the race leader, down towards the head, and then for the first time, get on those brakes there. Nice line through there, into second gear, just drive out like that. Towards the final corner, 1.1 there to the car behind, so holding stations on the off in this one then, as we get round to complete the first lap. So lap two then, sitting in, P2 then, as things stand at the moment. Back at the first corner, just noticing the race leader there, a bit wide at the first corner, but also trying to pull a bit of a gap on us there. Seven tenths of a second then, car behind is eight tenths, as I say, relatively poised at the moment then in second place. Let's just keep going, over the brown there, PB, and the session best in the first sector. It's left under then, sort of trying to take a bit more through there, maybe sort of keep it in four the next time round to try and carry a bit more speed through there. Let's get on the back of the race leader and the wake on the guy behind him, the purple there in sector two. Noticing the leader there going through the chicane, a bit sort of cumbersome there compared to our line. It's going to get us right on the back of them now and move here, perhaps, for the race lead into the hair pool, a bit tentative there on the brakes. Oh, I could have gone for it, you know, but again, it's just sort of consolidate the p2 try not to make any rash mistakes or errors of judgment or anything like that to lap three then the leader getting away there just over a second there just under half a second then back to the car behind back into the first corner we go then and then just sort of try to hang it on here through this high speed section not so bad through here as long as you just get on the apexes like that nice and smooth through there it was a bit more rugged through there in the uh, bmw a few months ago, really sort of wrestling through there, but in the Nismo, yeah, not so bad. Done it again there, down to third, back into fourth there for the eggs, a bit of muscle memory there. We are through the chicane, just sort of keep going for now, a bit on the apex there, but not so bad. Sort of lighting up the timing screens in this one at the moment, then, as we just sort of sit behind the race leader for now, sort of setting it up, isn't it? Sort of trying to step the move up, get the move done cleanly if we can. Two laps to go. Fastest up of the race so far then. Right, pulling away now, 1.5 there to the car behind. We're sort of trying to really sort of nail this section here, get a good run down the hill there to close the gap to the car in front. It's time to keep it in four. A bit more of a rotation there, but we got through there just in fourth gear. Oh, just there on the apex there. We're just sort of feeling the front of the car there, going towards that tyre barrier or barrier or concrete wall or whatever it was. Just so though we are pulling away there from the car behind then, nearly two seconds now. So definitely here now, a fight for the win all the way to the end. A bit on the grass there from the Nismo in front. But just going to hold on though through here and this final corner. On to the start of the final lap. Final lap there, 36 five. So sort of dropping off the pace a little bit there on that penultimate lap like this corner here. Really gain some time here, but again, we're just sort of on the apex there on the inside, just cost us a little bit there. Putting stations and it just over a second. Down towards the chicane, we go then for the final time to get ourselves round like that bit of a kickback there from the old Nismo. New corners to go then, starting with this hairpin here. And for a much smoother line through this corner here, that's better, I think, at this point. I think it's pretty much a foregone conclusion. This one is going to the final corner. Good race though, good racing, good driving. P2. Yeah, good race there, P2. I'll take that. Sort of hope at times that the race leader is going to make a mistake or fall off the track, but you know, they're pushing as well. So yeah, that was a, a good race, a good result that. Now we're back in then for a bit of TT in. Very close then to the 34s, but not quite going to make it round the level lap. So we may as well get back into the action. Back in the hot seat then from P7. Okie dokie then, let us see how we get on. Away we go then.
take three into the first corner, or I think by now, uh, take 11. Another take it is, we are round and put on the floor, going through the high speed section here up the hill once again, up and over this hill then down towards the left hand, the relatively even Stevens end so far in this one then, all sitting there in P7, no real noticeable moves as of yet, but the race winner from last time on the grass there in the Nismo, just sort of watch that as we go hurtling down the hill towards 150 miles an hour on the brakes for the chicane here. We'll just watch behind as well, the Porsche there giving us a little bit of a tap there, but we're alright. Oh, who's that barge in the way through there? Genesis there, he's having none of it, is he? He's on it, get out of my way. On the back there with the Nismo there as we get ourselves round this hair, a bit of an invitation there for the Porsche. Just gonna sort of try to navigate ourselves through here then. Where's the Porsche? I've got no idea. I should really be looking out for that really. There they are. He's behind us there. The final corner then and a few position places there on the first lap. Here we are. Lap two then. And uh, down to P8, but not so bad so far. Driving it back. Julian time for take number 12 of the first corner. The Porsche there. Three tenths behind. Just under a second there to the car in front then of the the Genesis barging guys out of the way on the first lap there, just in front there. The contact there with the wall there from the Nismo. It's going through there with the additional straight line speed. Down to the left hand of them, but got to sort of try to leave the space there for the Nismo. Going around the outside there. Keep an eye out as well for the Porsche there. Going through on the Nissan now. Really taking it to us now. They will do because I'm using sick gear there for, I don't really know why. Uh, there we go then, the Porsche goes through. Nismo back through as well then. We've just got a car off there as well. Nismo behind us now, so it's all sort of starting to get a bit sort of all simmering up a bit now, isn't it? On towards the hairpin. Sort of got the front of this train at the moment then, this group of cars. Round we go. As we get down to this section here, to watch out for the Porsche behind us here. Using the right gears through these corners. Could definitely help there. Bit of a gap there for that by six tenths of a second there. Coming down towards the final corner now then. It's got the Porsche there behind, and then we can see the Nismo, and I think the other Nismo there is just sat behind them there. So the third lap then, sort of trying to make some inroads on P5 now. Back into the first corner, as I say. Got on the gas. So just getting ourselves around that high speed left hander, and then down the hill again. Into the hairpin, a bit more there on the brakes there towards the hairpin sort of open the door there for at least one of the guys there to go through and there goes the Porsche there up the inside sort of keep an eye out there for where they are down towards this section here just going to sort of pick out of it there for Lousers there to go back across there to make the corner on the apex there could be the driving again to the final corner it's tight line this time as tight as we can be there sort of get ourselves round holding on to that coveted P6 then at the moment then on to lap 4 and all our sort of dithering there has cost us to uh the car in front there, just over three seconds now to P5, so around the first corner we go here then, sort of thinking now to sort of consolidate and keep the cars behind, behind. Sort of settled a bit now through that first sector, but only at the moment there's still very much a lot that can happen in this race, just sort of holding stations there around half a second to the Porsche behind us then, back on the brakes here for the hairpin. A car off there into the wall that's gonna promote us there to p5 the porch going with us and in tow now in p6 as we get around to start the final lap then bit of a battle here as we do start the final lap missing my gear shift there's probably the reason for that as the the porsche now gets to run into the first corner it's not trying to go around the outside if we can i just can't seem to get alongside there the porsche yeah, got the job done there for P5. Just over two seconds into the car behind. Trying to go with the Porsche then through here at the start of this final lap. On the grass there just in front of us. Just sort of watch out for that as we get down the hill here towards the chicane. The Porsche there. We're not really close enough there to sort of dive bomb it up the inside. So just sit behind now to the chicane. 0.5 second time penalty there. So maybe a chance here for us to get back that P5. Just stay in touch here towards the end. Right through there. All into the tire barrier. There goes the Porsche. Back through to P5, then with a corner to go. Get ourselves slowed down. Try to get to the inside as much as we can there for the drive out. This time the gear shifts again, come out the final corner. But there we are, over the line, P5.
yeah, enjoyed that. Good bit of racing on Kyoto Yamagiba Driving Park. Uh, thanks to all the guys for some good, clean racing. And yeah, really enjoyed it. So we'll get on now to Daily Race C, which apparently is even better from what I've been seeing. So we'll get on to that one then, and uh, we'll see what happens there next time out.